Hey, Thomas here. So here is the video I promised uh, a couple of days ago about how to set up your reports so that you can actually see stuff in your reports and not just kind of look at very confusing numbers. So when I sat down to record this video, I, I got to say, I don't even know what you guys are looking at. Uh, usually when you send me screenshots and you say, well, something's wrong here, you know, the, Trackify, the pixels are reporting way more conversions than we get even in our Shopify. I see things like, most most of all, I see results. That is a very evil column. That is horrible. We use a good results column uh, because it, it usually re, uh, reports all kinds of things, not necessarily post engagements. In this case, it's post engagements. It depends a lot on what your objective is on your ad and how your ad is configured. So results column is completely useless most of the time. Um, <clears throat> the other column that I see a lot is total conversion value. Total conversion value. And you see here, it's a little awesome, yeah, right? $1.6 million total conversion value from just one campaign with a few ad sets in it. That would be awesome. Well, so that is also totally bogus. Don't look at that. The other one is here, website actions all. That's also completely trash. Forget about it, okay? So <clears throat> let me show you what to what to select here. You come down here, no, you come down here into under customized columns. And first of all, you're gonna kick the ones out that you don't want to see. So let's start here. Results, don't want to see it. Re website actions, all don't want to see it. To total conversion value, don't want to see it. Okay, so now what you do want to see, cost is a little bit questionable because you don't really know per what it is. So it's kind of like you can look at it if you want to, but you don't really need to. Budget is good to look at because that kind of shows you what uh, you know what the budget is. Amount spent, I like to look that look at that. I always put that kind of far up and we are kind of uh, far up anyway. If you set end dates to your ads, you can look at ends, otherwise you don't need it. Schedule, if you're scheduling your ads in advance or, or end it, you might need it, or if you want to keep track of when you start a different ad sets at different times, you might need it. Normally, you don't need it. Relevant score is a good thing to see, but it doesn't show on the campaign level. It only shows on the um, ad set level, <clears throat> so you might not need that one, or you, you can use it, so it, uh, it doesn't matter. So now, let's go to the ones that you actually need. So they're down here. If you want to scroll down to them, you click on websites and it scrolls down. It has a big list here. They're in several different sections. So I find it pretty cumbersome to work through them. But just to show you the sections, see, it's here under website actions. You have first a group of um, uh, uh, columns that count certain conversions. Okay. And here are the names of the conversions. So, and then also here is what type of pixel they're counting. So this first batch here is all about the Facebook pixel. Um, so view content would be here, purchase would be here, and add to cart. These are the three that we're tracking in Trackify, and these are the three that are important in Shopify, right? So these three are the ones that we want to check. And again, these are the counts, so that these count your transactions. Um, then the next batch down here has checkouts, conversion pixels. So you see here, this is not about Facebook pixel. These are about conversion pixels. And so if you're not tracking by Facebook pixel, but rather by conversion pixels, then you would uh, select those three here that are relevant. And that's, again, uh, checkouts. So checkouts on conversion pixels is the same as purchase on Facebook pixel. And key web page views is similar. It's not quite the same, but it's similar to view content on Facebook Pixel. And Add to Cart is actually exactly the same as Add to Cart in Facebook Pixel for the conversion pixels. Okay, so if you if you're on conversion pixels, you want to select these three. If you're on Facebook Pixels, you want to select these three. If you're kind of doing both, like I'm doing with Quaya, then you can uh, select all of them or whatever you want to look at. Okay. So I'm gonna, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just keep it simple and go for Facebook Pixel only. So now this is only the count. There are two other uh, metrics that are, in, uh, that are being reported. One is the cost per each of these events. And the, th and the third one, or the second one, is um, the value per, or the, the total value uh, for, for all of them. Uh, and those are some that I selectively uh, use. 
So you can scroll down for that. You have the cost per action. And again, the first uh, kind of section here is about Facebook pixel, pixel. So cost per, I'm actually interested mainly in the view content and the purchase. Sometimes I hit the add to cart as well. So that kind of depends. Add to cart, whatever, whatever you want to do there. Then here, the second section, again, the same thing for conversion pixels. So if you are using conversion pixels, you make a selection here. And then one further section further down is conversion value. So that shows you. And for that one, I'm really only interested in purchase conversion value. Otherwise, you get these inflated numbers that are uh, coming up in total conversion values. Like, um, So basically, uh, Trackify fires a conversion value with all three funnel events for the Facebook pixel. So if you're adding them all up, which is what the total conversion column does, then you get these these huge amounts that are hyperinflated. Okay, so basically I just check the purchase conversion value here because I'm not really interested in what kind of value people added to the card. Although you know that might be an interesting thing to look at. I don't know. I just don't do it. All right, good. So then after you selected everything, you come down here and you organize them. Usually what I like to do, I like to kind of organize them according to the funnel. And so I go for um, the view content is first, right? So view content comes up on top. Uh, then I want to see the cost per view content. I see, I always organize them with cost per event and then the, the count per event. So view content is the first, then comes the add to cart. So here goes cost per add to cart, then comes add to cart, and then comes cost per purchase and purchase. And then at the end, I list purchase conversion value. So let's click OK here or apply and see what comes out of this. So now this is a nice report, right? You can see here cost per content view, view content, content views, view content. Uh, they just turned that around. I've never seen that written this way. Uh, cost per add to cart. OK, nice. Add to cart. Nice. Cost per purchase. Nice purchase, nice purchase conversion value, nice, right? This is awesome. So here you can see everything. Nothing is inflated. Everything is organized. Everything makes sense. The ratios make sense to each other. It kind of, kind of declines. The values make sense with the cost makes sense with the uh, per uh, action here. And here the cost per action makes that makes sense. And here the purchase conversion value makes sense. That makes total sense. For that many conversions, right? So this is how to do it. Now, quick warning here. Today I saw the very first time a Facebook account that did not have a um, tab here for conversion tracking value, for, for conversion tracking pixel old. There was just simply no column here. And so that uh, uh, should uh, send a, a little bit of a shudder down your spine uh, because Facebook has announced to uh, take them away at the end of 2016. Alas, they're already starting to phase them out and taking them away from some of the accounts. I'm not quite sure if what I saw was a brand new account or it was actually taken away from an existing account that had uh, active conversion pixels. I would um, kind of assume that it was a brand new account, but I'm not quite sure. So anyway, um, when you're using uh, Trackify, there's nothing to fear. Trackify has almost almost always, um, it's for a long time now, and is completely supporting Facebook Pixel. It's adding value to the Facebook Pixel. It has been adding value to, to the Facebook Pixel for anyone who has used Trackify, even if you've been using conversion pixels so far. So there's nothing to be scared about. Uh, we have a very cool event coming up in February in Dallas. Uh, there are a few seats left. Um, it's not a free event, it's an expensive event, but it's going to turn your year results completely around for 2016. You're going to learn everything about how to use the, the Facebook uh, pixel in the best and most powerful way, how to load it up with extra information that replaces just about almost everything that the conversion pixels have. And so with that under your belt, you can be confident in scaling your campaigns uh, diving into new audiences and just being hyper successful with um, the Facebook pixel. It's an awesome tool. Um, it's all just getting better. So don't be scared. Come to Dallas and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.